V. Alexander, Sasha Stefan, My Worldview, 2021. You do not have to be a physicist to be weird and witty. I have a charming young she friend, Mary Lou. She has a weird weight problem, always complaining about her being overweight. She weighs about 130 pounds. She should have, she says, at least 2 to 3 pounds less. She has two weight scales, bought in Los Angeles and Moscow. The Los Angeles scale says she weighs 130 pounds. The Moscow scale says she weighs 59 kilopons. I have explained to Mary Lou that her weight is a gravitational force acting on her body's mass, her rest mass, at Henny Beach, the sea level, in California. Numerically, her weight is. I tell her that 130 pounds means 130 pound force, which is identical to her 130 pound mass, her rest mass, also, 59 kilopons means 59 kilogram force, which is identical to 59 kilogram mass simply put it, her rest mass is 130 pounds, or 59 kilograms. The Newton Apple 100 grams 0.22 pounds She goes to the beach, she says so as to melt her fat, having only an apple per day. Even that apple she holds in her hand forever, deciding if she should have even that one apple per day. I look at that gorgeous body of hers, in agony, as to her behavior at the extreme, making her a weirdo. I tell her that the force by which she holds her apple, at the height of 1 meter, 3.3 feet, from the beach sand, is the force of 1 Newton. It is an average size apple, let us call it the Newton apple. If it's more than an average size, and it falls from a tree on to your head, as in the Newton case, there are three records that this actually had happened, you might have a problem. Newton did not have any problem. It was, actually, the inspiration for his theory of gravitation. Einstein's relativistic physics helps Mary Lou with her weight problem. I explained to her how Einstein's relativistic physics might help her with her weight problem. I do that on a piece of paper, hoping she will understand it easier. She's not a physicist. By holding a Newton apple in your hand at the height of 1 meter, 3.3 feet height, you release, emit, the energy of your muscles into the potential energy of the Newton apple. That potential energy is, if you drop the apple, its potential energy will transform into the kinetic energy of the apple free fall. At the moment, the apple hits the beach sand, its kinetic energy will transform into the heat energy of the impact. One part of the impact heat energy will go into the heating of the air, and the other part into the additional heating of the sand, which, in principle, can help you in the melting of your fat. The energy of your holding the Newton apple, not heating it, will, ultimately, goes into the increase of the heat energy of your local environment. It is so infinitesimal however, it will hardly influence the climate change. That's good, she says. We do need to care about the climate change. I tell Mary Lou. The energy of your holding the Newton apple, not heating it, is the energy you released via the work of your muscles. What is important here, it is that you have released, emitted, the energy. A 26-year-old Einstein, in his celebrated 1905 paper, on the energy mass equivalence which reads that, energy is equal to mass multiplied by the velocity of light squared, states this. If a body at rest emits the energy while remaining at rest, then the rest mass of the body will change so that the change of the rest mass is equal to the emitted energy divided by the velocity of light squared. You emit energy by holding the Newton apple, so to speak. The energy will ultimately go to the heating of your local environment. Now, 
Einstein tells you to expect the decrease in your rest mass, in other words, the decrease in your weight. Ro. Einstein is my man, Mary Lou exclaims. Hello, Mary Lou. In conclusion, I tell her, by holding the Newton apple in your hand at the height of 1 meter, 3.3 feet, and dropping it in a free fall, you lose 10 billionths of a billionth of a kilogram, or 22 billionths of a billionth of a pound. Ro. She exclaims, ma'am, you can't be serious. I do believe she is so overwhelmed by my presentation, that you will forget about her weird weight problem, at least for a day, or so. In the evening she comes back from the grocery store, and tells me, Hey genius, I bought four Newton apples, two for you, and two for me and lost four times more weight. She smiles a sarcastic smile, I smile back, nodding in agreement, happily, because she has understood my lecture. Not only that she's pretty and weird, but she's also witty. Obviously, you don't have to be a physicist to be weird and witty. She adds, when I was watching the film, Insignificance, 1985, I was thinking of me as being Marilyn Monroe, and of you as being Einstein. We share a laugh. Don't you ever insult Einstein, I say to her. Einstein explains his energy mass equation, E equals mc squared, which he calculated in September 1905, probably in the village of Koch, as he was visiting with his serborn wife Mileva Marich Einstein, her family there. Koch is in the present-day Serbia, Yugoslavia. He published his result, the most celebrated equation in physics, on November 21, 1905, in a German science journal, Annals of Physics. It follows from the special theory of relativity that mass and energy are good, are but different manifestations of the same thing. A somewhat unfamiliar conception for the average man. Furthermore, the equation E is equal to M C squared, in which energy is but equal to mass multiplied with the square of the velocity of light, showed that a very small amount of mass may be converted into a very large amount of energy, and it works. The mass and energy were in fact equivalent, according to the formula mentioned before. This was demonstrated by Kochra and Walton in 1932 experiments.